Uh, I know you're excited, obviously, about the yes. Warriors and the Lakers. Yes. Are you also excited? Your Knicks opening up the season against <laughs> Memphis and against It could be some Denver. moves coming. could be some moves coming. Just like your Lions on Thanksgiving, Bart, we've got your Knicks mm. on Christmas right. Day, Stephen A. Is that mandatory? Is it mandatory first that the Knicks play on Christmas? First of all, I want to be very, very clear. I'm not joking around when I say what I'm about to say. I love your show, your radio show right there in New York City with my man, Alan Hahn. There's a reason I haven't been on your show. I have my, Michael K and Donald Juan LaGreca. Those are my boys, yeah, my yeah. brothers. You understand, Peter Rosenberg, those guys. I love those dudes. There's a reason I haven't been on those shows. <laughs> because I'm scared. I was scared of what I would say about the New York Knicks on New York radio. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm really ticked off. I think that when you are the New York Knicks, yeah. I'm so done with James Dolan, yeah. who's just a child. A child in a man's body. I mean, he makes me sick how he has allowed stuff to be conducted. You got a guy in Leon Rose who I'm very fond of yeah. and I've known for over 20 years and I have a lot of respect for. I just don't respect what he's doing, hiding from the media the way that he has. Yeah. You the president of basketball operations. You got to show your face and represent New York the way you supposed to. And the fact that you being cowardly yeah. in failing to address the media, I don't think you qualify for the job if you can't talk to the media in New York yeah. City. You just you we're supposed to sit back and just yeah. let you do what you do and depend on your vision yeah. when you were an agent. I mean, you yeah. got to be kidding me. Rob Palenka is more accessible yeah. than, or at least it seems that way. I'm appalled yeah. by what I see. From, I'm appalled. Now, let me go, let me go a step further. I want to get here because I want to say it to you out here because if I was on radio with you, I might, be, <laughs> I, I might lose. I might violate FCC <laughs> airways. So I got to do it when I know I'm safe. Yeah. Here's the deal. You go after Jalen Brunson. I like Jalen Brunson. Yeah. I'm glad he got his money. In today's NBA economy, you want to give him $100 million. Man, the way he balled last year, go ahead, Jalen. I'm rooting for that brother, okay? I believe in R.J. Barrett. I even believe in Julius Randle. Just stop being so emotional, bro. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the city loved you when you played war. When you struggled, they booed you. And then you let that ruin your whole damn season. What's the matter with you? Yeah. Okay? All right? I like OB Toppin, even though I wanted them to draft Halliburton, not yeah. because of any shade of OB Toppin. It's because they needed a point guard. Right. So now you're going out and you get Jalen Brunson, okay? I don't like I, – I love his daddy. His daddy and I go back since the mid-'90s. Mm -hmm. But you standing behind the bench – recruiting Jalen Brunson, and, 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 and you got you, – you hire Rick Brunson in June. I, I mean, a month before you bring him on, you hire his daddy. Yeah, yeah. This ain't Kentucky. <laughs> this ain't – what the hell is this? It's, 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 it's amateur night in that regard. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.